You see, I knew it was going to happen eventually. You know, you go to work and you, you take your dad's old timer. This thing, I don't know how old it is, but it's it's made out of the real 1095 steel that the, the 340Ts are supposed to be made out of. And you take it to work and you just had it on the work sharp sharpener, you know, the day before and you whip it out and you show them how it'll just shave hair right off of your arm. Yeah. So one of the guys says, Hey man, how about sharpening my knife? Uh, it's, it's kind of hard to sharpen and I've never been able to get a really, really good edge on it like that. You reckon you could do it? Yeah, I believe I can. Let me take it home and we'll see what we can do. So here's his knife. This is a, uh, this is a, uh, it's a M and P by Smith and Wesson. And we're going to sharpen it on the work sharp. I'm going to start from the very bottom. I've got the, the, the coarse belt on there. We're going to establish a brand new edge on it and go from there. So, I'll get back to you in just a few minutes. So after about, oh, five minutes of work, it's good and sharp. He wanted the top edge sharpened too. Before it didn't even have an edge on it. And that full five minutes included putting a, a whole edge on the top there. So I just got one word of advice for you. If you own a work sharp, sharpener and that word of advice is don't go bragging on it unless you want to sharpen other folks knives for them because they're sure going to ask you i guess it's okay though i like helping folks out so i'm glad i could work on john's knife i'll give it back to him tomorrow and make a happy man out of him